I'm Anthony Hudson. We're ready for Saturday afternoon football. And with me today is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. I've been waiting for this game all week. Here today, the clash between GWS Giants and St Kilda. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. St Kilda defence has a big job today. If they can stop the opposition forwards from getting a few chances early, it goes a long way to winning this game. Looking ready as they enter the ground. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. GWS Giants winning the toss. Round nine. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And here we go. It's the Giants taking on St Kilda. Getting in the way was Steele. They can link up now. Turned it over. Didn't get away from that tackle. Great tackle. DeBoer creates a goal. He's excited about that one. The first goal going to GWS Giants. Mumford went it down. The ball knocked out in the tackle. Looks to move it by foot. Green looks to get onto the football. Savage just put it on the boot. Bounces over the line. We'll get the ball tossed back into play. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Releases the handball. Cameron just streaming past and gets the footy. His teammates rush over. Great start by GWS Giants. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Cornelio finds his man on the move. Intercepts the ball well. Webster drives the kick. Jones gathers it now. Had the pressure bearing down. Thank you, Ohio. Winning it was Mumford. Sinks the slipper into it. Picked up by Kelly. Just gets it onto the boot. Rushes with the kick. Collected by Savage. My ball, says the umpire. Mumford with the hit. Sheridan dismisses his opponent with disdain. Sees it over the boundary line. The ball is coming back into play. Mumford thumps it forward. Carla with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Missed the target, got the hands free. I'll have it. Won the hit out. Hannabury pushes through with power. Wants to keep it moving. Cornelio cuts it off. Intervening brilliantly was Steele. Williams with quick hands. Jacobs just handballs into space. He's got the football now. Doing well to intercept that kick. Slams it on the boot. 
under pressure and keeps it alive. And the ball ends up over the line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Releases by hand. Ward links up with a chance to run. Ward will be the recipient of the free. They chase after the loose ball. Jacob got in the better position. He decides to go for home. The Giants finds a way to get that one through. He puts through his first goal. Smiles all round. GWS Giants have three in a row. Now they lead by 18. Slapped away. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Dug out by Jacobs. Hannabury has an injury. Gaz, what does it look like to you? Well, the doctor will have to take a look at that one. It does look serious. GWS Giants. Kovacs and Kilda. Fight 19. Robertson with an easy mark. GWS Giants haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. Carlo kicks it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Cor uses it by foot. Cornelia, the better man there. Drives the kick hard. Just put it on the boot. They can create from this. Dug out the loose ball. Ball up in the centre square. GWS Giants have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Mumford won the duel. Just gets a boot to it. The ball mopped up. Gets the loose ball. Cameron drives it at goal. GWS Giants fans getting excited about that one. He celebrates hard after that. The lead is now 25. Back with another centre bounce. Tap came from Mumford. Phillips on the ball. Goes by hand. Missed the target. Takes possession. Can't take possession. Mops up the loose ball. Handballs. Just gave it away. Green rushes with the kick. Hopper with the opportunity in front of goal. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. He's missed it. GWS Giants lead the Saints by 26. Takes that one strongly. GWS Giants are struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms. Marshall turns a free kick. Geary, a long driving kick. Good mark by Hopper. Finding the loose ball was battle. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Well collected. Hit the man hard. Abbott receives the ball. Loney soccer's the kick. Haynes wins the foot race. Finds this and marks well. The first quarter is almost over now. Marking in space for Sheridan. Goes by foot. Collects the loose. Gary, how did you see that opening quarter? GWS Giants came out and started well. They deserved the lead at quarter time. Mumford leads all comers on the ground. He's having a fantastic game. Players ready to start the second quarter. The game is back underway. Thumps it clear. Opportunity for... Drops the mark. Taken well at ground level by Gresham. Abbott gets the loose ball. 
There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Clears the contest. Quickly onto the boot. Takes a simple grab. Taranto goes with the kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Plays on. The kick from Billings. Intercepted. Mumford won himself a free. With a driving kick. Loney wins the marking contest. Loney has resources out wide. A chance to reload the attack now. Kick by Kelly. A race for the loose ball. Finds the loose ball. Penetrating handball. They can link up now. Clean pickup by Marshall. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. With quick hands. Handball's under pressure. He gets his hands on the footy. Green dishes it off. Linking by hand. Gets on the end of this. They can create from this. Ross finds possession. Thank you. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Carlo gains some territory. Ball up on the outer side wing. Thumps it clear. Got the hands free. He can take off after that handball. Goes off the ground. The ball spells for Sheridan. He just can't get out of the action. Great tackling technique. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Showing some really good pressure there. Going for goal number one. They are happy with that effort. The time to celebrate. And don't they get around. Butler. St Kilda with their first of the match. GWS Giants got winning the ball out of the clearance and are capitalising. It's much easier to score when you're always on the front foot. Hill slick with the hands. Finds a target. Elects to kick. Mumford marks. Quick handball. He wins possession. Hopper is streaming past and gets the footy. Had plenty of the ball. Sells a bit of candy. Green plays on. Lloyd hacking it out of there. Wins the race to the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Is in his possession with the ball now. Control well off the bounce. Cork spills it. Kicks in heavy traffic. A great mark taken there. 45 metres out. Butler should be able to put this through. Move it on. He gives it a ride. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Congratulated by his teammates. Can they capitalise on the momentum? We resume hostilities. Punches are clear. Clean from the half volley. Hanover, the recipient of the free kick. Chose to kick it. Cornelio wins the foot race. Now with a low spearing kick. And the mark will be paid. GWS Giants would love to make the most of this opportunity. He might kick a goal. Mumford didn't mark it. Slams it onto the boot. Sinclair applies a bump. Hurry kick. Butler got under it. Puts boot to ball. Caught leading the race to the loose ball. Giving it off was Ross. Manages to get a hand away. Has a man running for him. He has the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Fantastic pressure there. He lays off the pass. Marshall moves it now. Intercepts the ball well. Davis puts it on the boot. An easy grab for Whitfield. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Picks up the loose ball. Gresham going for number one. Drop punt straight through the middle. Celebrating hard. St Kilda have three in a row. St Kilda close the gap to eight. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal.
St Kilda are struggling in the contested ball numbers. They aren't hunting the ball hard enough and it's hurting them. Steele slams it onto the boot. The loose ball picked up. Williams releases the ball. He's got the football now. Perryman just gets it onto the boot. Cameron wins the ball in the air. A low stabbing kick. De Ball presents and takes the mark. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Goes for the goals. Cleverly soccers it off the ground for a goal. Langdon celebrates with the fans. The Giants starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 32 to 18. Taken by Ross. Kicks out of the congestion. An intriguing first half as it stands. GWS Giants 32. Play St Kilda 18. GWS Giants have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at halftime. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. The Saints can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Thank you very much, Gaz. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. About to resume play. GWS Giants are getting first use from their ruckman. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Cornelio, hurried kick. Takes the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Williams landed in his back on this occasion. Winning the ball in the air was Ross. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. That is a stunning goal. Ross celebrating hard. St Kilda reduced the margin. We're back in the middle now. Hammers it with the ball now. Receives the handball and takes off. He gets above the crowd. Uses it now. The ball's knocked loose. He looks like he needs a spell. Davis marks it. He drives it. He gives chase to the footy. Ward gets a quick kick away. Cleanly picked up. Now we will get a ball up. It's a very tight game right now. The umpire calls for the ball now. Thump clear. Davis was taken high in the tackle. Decides to kick. Ball gets cut off. Williams short by hand. Clears the congestion. He takes the mark. With a driving kick. It's marked by Mumford. Got the hands free. Gets a quick kick away. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Fans crossing their fingers. Hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. He takes aim. The kick ends up hitting the post. Now they lead by nine. Players move as they look to provide an option. Finds a bit of room to mark. Moves it by foot. Takes a nice mark. Brown drives the kick. The mark has been taken. Looks up with the kick. Sinclair did well to win that ball. Looks to move it by foot. Carlisle marks uncontested. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Picking it up was Jacobs. Hacks it on the boot. He goes it alone. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Green getting the crowd involved. GWS Giants lead by 15. Back in the middle to resume play. Jacobs thumped it clear. Goes with the kick. Well taken at ground level. It's a turnover. Carlisle lobs the handball. He gets another possession. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Made the goal umpire move. And it's a behind. 
from Kilda. Won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Teammates break for him. It's a foot race to get this one. Contest the hard ball. Put his body on the line. What a brilliant tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Butler gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. 45 metres out. He slams it towards goal. Lucky to even score with that shot. St Kilda, now only trailed by 13. Plays on. Davis slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Couldn't keep it alive. It's out of play. Mumford coming onto the ground. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Finding the loose ball was Gresham. It'll be a ball up. Thrashes it. Marshall gets the loose ball. The umpire calls for it. Mumford thrashes it. And now it's a ball up. Mumford with the punch. Doing well was Phillips. Sinclair gets on the end of that handball. Look at them celebrate that effort. St Kilda behind by seven. We resume hostilities. Swats it. This is still. Gets it away. The loose ball scooped up. Sinks the slipper into it. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He's setting the example at the moment. Gathers it now. Coughed up by Dunstan. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Finds a way to goal along the ground. He puts through his first goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. St Kilda have kicked the last two goals. St Kilda behind by one. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. GWS Giants have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure and allowing them to win the ball back. Sinclair takes the mark. Moves the ball by foot. Finds himself in space and marks. Robertson quickly out of the boot. Hill collects it. Just put it on the boot. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gas. Yes, I know. He's a class act. Handball finds Marshall. Perryman couldn't complete the tackle. Whitfield doesn't take the mark. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. He's enjoying that goal. They've taken the lead. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. GWS Giants can't afford to be missing this many chances in front of goal. It might cost them the game. Abbott throws the ball away. Simply outplayed his opponent. 50 metres from home. Move it on. He likes his chances from here. Nice hands. A chance here to convert for the Giants. 10 metres out. Sensational goal. He's excited about that one. As we go into the final change, the scores are GWS Giants 45, the Saints 44. A big final term coming up. GWS Giants will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? GWS Giants can't winning as much of the footy, but are still controlling the contest. Their efficiency with the ball is superior at the moment. Thanks for that.
One quarter of footy to go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. About to resume play. Punched away. Decides to soccer it. Goes for territory. Hopper is blowing hard after that effort. Ward had it, lost it. Sinclair kicks hurriedly. Great mark. Taranto elects to kick. Doing well with the mark. Slams it on the boot. The ball ends up with Cameron. Cameron has resources out wide. The ball finds itself to the boundary. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Ball back into play. Big thump from Mumford. Takes possession. Puts on a big hit. Billings there to mop up. Rushes with the kick. Couldn't take it. Scoops up the ball. Fought hard to get a handball away. Howard dug it out. Cornelia onto the ball. Hits the target by hand. Picks up the loose ball. Savage uses it by foot. Loney does well to mark. Goes by foot. Ross wins the ball in the air. Drives it inside 50. Good grab there from Butler. 45 metres out. Move it on. An opportunity for a third goal. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. The scores are tied. Searching for a teammate. Didn't disguise that well enough. It's been called deliberate. Webster might kick a goal. That was sweet. They put through another. His teammates rush over. The margin not too big to be closed before time's up. Back in the middle now. Thump by Mumford. Ross applying physical pressure. He's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. He's showing everyone how it's done. Sheridan choosing to play on. Goes inside, forward 50. To ball with a chance if he can keep his cool. Moving on. This will square it up. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. Pretty happy with that one. The scores are level. What a nail-biter. Back in the middle now as the Rucks go at it. Swats it. Has it now. Gathers it now. Ross creates all sorts of problems for his opponent. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Fights the good fight. Carlo gets in the way. Kicks hurriedly. Butler has a great set of hands. The distance might be just beyond him. Bit of an angle for this kick. He goes for broke. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. St Kilda doing well at the moment. Just gets it onto the boot. Gathered by Cor. He gets his hands on the footy. Goes off the ground. Off the deck. Steel goes for territory. Trying to avoid everything out there. That's holding the ball. Fails to fend off the tackler. Great tackling there, Hutto. Decides to keep it alive. Keeps it alive under some pressure. He bangs it through. Butler gets number three. Smiles all round. St Kilda by seven points. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. The Saints have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ward can link up through hands. 
Sinclair gets the ball. Does well to cut off the kick. Davis kicks it. Takes the mark all by himself. Gone! What a tackle! Charts down by steal. Big tackle. They're doing really well to chew some time off the clock here. The Saints just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Releases the handball. Hanabry struggling to run at the moment. Stands tall and marks. 45 metres out. Ward going for number one. Hits the post, and it's a minor. Just under two goals, the difference now. Abbott leaps over the top. Bangs it on the boot now. Gresham goes by hand. Davis goes off the ground. Ward won himself a free. Puts it on the boot. Marks now and can send it back. Punches the kick. Sinclair used the body to take that mark. Might be too far out to score. <whistles> Going for goal number two. That one will really lift them. Of course, Hunter. Sinclair loves that goal. St Kilda beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 64 to 52. He did really well there and gets the reward. That's a really good team goal. The Saints have been terrific at finding space to move the ball. Their ability to find a player in space is first class and it sees them in charge. They were down at one stage, but never out. And they've found a way to get the result in the end. Gary, what do you make of the result? St Kilda found a way to get the game on their terms and they didn't look back from there. St Kilda defeated GWS Giants 64 to 52 at the final siren. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. Thanks, Hutto. Until next time.